Good evening. This is All India Radio Kohima. I'm Jonas Yantan with evening news. The headlines. Union Home Minister Amit Shah calls upon young generation to contribute towards making India the number one country in the world by 2027. Minister Jacob Zumome declares his candidature from Kaspani 1 Assembly constituency. The Mabu Municipal Council Administrator Manbai Palm says estimated waste generated from the Mabu Municipal Jurisdiction on a daily basis has reduced. A Nagaland Conservatory of Music to perform during Parad Barf 2023 on 30th of this month. Now the news in detail. Union Home Minister Amit Shah called upon the young generation to contribute towards making India the number one country in the world by 2027. Speaking at the Platinum Jubilee celebrations of B.V. Pumaradi, College of Engineering and Technology, in Hopali today, he said along with career growth, the youth must set a goal to make contributions to the growth of India. Saying that Prime Minister Narendra Modi has a dream to see India at the top, Shah said India must become a five trillion economy by 2025. From the 11th biggest economy in 2014, today the country is the fifth largest economy with just three unicorns. In 2014, India has taken a leap by starting 70,000 startups and unicorns have crossed 75 in number, he added. Minister for PHET Jacob Zumumi has declared his candidature for the upcoming state assembly elections from Kaspani 1 assembly constituency on BJP ticket. This declaration was made today in Dimapu in the presence of BJP national spokesperson Nalin Kohli, state party chief Demjan Imna Along, party leaders and family members. It may be mentioned that Zumumi has been consecutively elected in the Nagaland Legislative Assembly election from Kaspani 1 since 2013. Dimabu Municipal Council Administrator Manbai Palm has said that the estimated waste generated from Dimabu Municipal Jurisdiction on a daily basis has reduced when compared to 115 tons per day earlier. Manbai said this today during the Cleanest Colony Competition Award program at Dimabu Town Hall. He said that the total waste generated has come down to 74 tons per day as of November 2022, which is a positive outcome. He said a municipal plans to set up a composting unit at the DMC dumping site to convert the organic waste into manure as 50% of the total waste produced is organic adding that waste management has to start with every individual from household level. Manbai said the municipal body is not only for waste management and sanitation, but also developmental and beautification of the town. The administrator called upon all the colony authorities to share their ideas on how to improve and make the Mabu a clean city. During the program, the winning colonies in different categories were awarded with cash and certificates. Dangan Busti Colony backed the first prize in overall big colony category, and in the small colony category, River Bell the Colony backed the first prize. Nagaland Conservatory of Music is all set to perform the ongoing Parad Parv 2023 at the Red Fort Lawns in Delhi on 30th of this month. Parad Parv is organised by the Ministry of Culture and Ministry of Tourism. The Parad Parv commenced from 26th of this month and this year's edition of Parad Parv is themed as the Incredible Festivals of India. Nagaland Conservatory of Music Choir will be led by their conductor Hito Kiho. The chair, the choir, will perform different genres of choral, music comprising of folk songs, popular songs and patriotic songs, amongst others. This news comes to you from All India Radio, Gohima. You can also listen to this news bulletin on News on Air app and YouTube channel AIA News, Gohima. Centre today established three Grievance Appellate Committees, GAC, based on recently amended information technology, intermediary guidelines and digital media ethics code rules 2021, IT rules 2021. The committees are composed of three members each. 
Electronics and Information Technology Minister, Ministry said the GSC is a piece of overall policy and legal framework to ensure that Internet in India is open, safe, trusted and accountable. This process is going to be completely digital and online, it added. Here the users will have option to appeal against decision of grievance officers of social media and other online intermediaries before this new appellate body. The committee will endeavour to address the users' appeals within a period of 30 days. Users can make their appeals on the portal at gsc.gov.in. Union Minister for Commerce and Industry, Piyush Goyal, has called for creation of an international network of mentors, investors and entrepreneurs to strengthen the global startup ecosystem. He said that this network must support and inspire startups, act as a team to facilitate exchange of ideas, best practices and funding mechanisms, and promote collaborations in research and development. The Union Minister was addressing the inaugural session of the inception meeting of the Startup 20 engagement group of G20 in Hyderabad today. Goyal said that India was proud to highlight the progress and potential of the global startup ecosystem as the host nation of G20. He noted that the Startup 20 group had been established under India's G20 presidency for the first time as part of India's special focus on innovation. Goyal expressing confidence that innovation would be the strongest pillar that would help build and develop India in the Amritkal noted that the world is facing a multitude of global challenges from climate change to poverty and inequality. The minister expressed his firm belief that innovation can lead the way in solving these problems. The month-long Kati Fest 2023 was inaugurated by Chairman of Kati and Village Industries Commission, KVIC, Manoj Kumar, in Mumbai yesterday. In his inaugural address, Kumar said, events and exhibitions like Kati Fest provides platform to Kati institutions, Prime Minister's Employment Generation Programme and Scheme of Fund for Regeneration of Traditional Industry Units to market pro- products of thousands of artisans directly to customers. He also motivated the officers and employees of KVIC to fulfil the responsibility of the upliftment of the poor people living in rural areas. The Kadi Fest will run until the 24th of next month at KVIC headquarters in Ville Pali. At the station parade of male and female recruits as riflemen and riflewomen was held at the Assam Rifles Training Centre, Sukovi in Dimapur today. The Barrett was reviewed by Deputy Inspector General of some Rifles Training Centre and School, Brigadier S.K. Shioran. Addressing the recruits, Shioran highlighted the rich history of the Assam Rifles as the oldest paramilitary force of the country and its diversified role. He congratulated the recruits on successful completion of training and wished them success in all their future endeavours. A total of 196 recruits passed out of the completion of 44 weeks of training in both conventional and counterinsurgency operations and will join respective units in all frontline duties. The overall best male recruit was awarded the Lungjing Mete No. 3 Training Battalion and the overall best female recruit was awarded the Kumal Batra of No. 3 Training Battalion. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will share his thoughts with the people of the country and abroad in Monkey Bud program on All India Radio tomorrow. It will be the 97th episode of the monthly radio program. The program will be broadcast on the entire network of All India Radio and Doodarshan, AIR News website and News On Air mobile app from 11 a.m. onwards. The program will also be live streamed on YouTube channels of AIR News, DT News, and P- the PMO and Information and Broadcasting Ministry. AIR will broadcast the program in regional languages immediately after the Hindi broadcast. And now to end the news, here are the main points again. Union Home Minister Amit Shah calls upon young generation to contribute towards making India the number one country in the world by 2027. 
Minister Jacob Zumomi declares his candidature from Kaspaniwan Assembly constituency. The Mapu Municipal Council Administrator Manbai Palm says estimated waste generated from the Mapu Municipal Jurisdiction on a daily basis has reduced. In Nagaland Conservatory of Music, the perform during Parad Barf 2023 on 30th of this month. That is all we have in this evening news bulletin. Good night.